The Emir of Kaduru, who was kidnapped at the weekend, is now free. Al Haji Al Hassan Adamu was released by his captors today. According to a kingmaker and the Galadima of Kajuru Emirate Council, Al Haji Dahiru Abubakar, the Emir is reportedly in good health, but about 12 others abducted with him are still in captivity. We're being joined live by Dahiru Abubakar, who's joining us from Kaduna. Uh, good evening, Dahiru. Thank you very much for joining us. Tell us exactly what the, the mood is at the um, palace of uh, the, uh, the, the man who was abducted. We hear that um, the 12 others who were abducted alongside him have not returned, but he alone has regained his freedom. Yeah, there was over jubilation. People were excited seeing the, the Emir back to the palace. As it is now, all over the, the place, there was a jubilation by the people welcoming the, the Emir. He also addressed the, the people, and uh, 13 other people are yet to be released for now, as negotiation is ongoing. Um, can you tell us exactly what the police is saying about this or security agencies? Uh, is there any information as to uh, if there was any ransom paid uh, for his freedom? And we also know that his wives and certain other persons were taken. Um, is there any information as to their well-being? Yeah, as, as for now, there is no any information regarding whether ransom was paid or not. But they, they said they are going to update us on the information. But earlier on today, there was a, a source gathered that the bandits demanded over 200 million. So we cannot able to see whether the ransom was paid or not. What does it say about Kaduna State? I mean, in less than in the space of 24 hours last week, a hospital. Um, experienced uh, uh, kidnapping and abductions, also a school uh, had their fair share, and now an emir, meaning that there is no sacred place uh, in Kaduna State. Um, what is the governor saying about the state of insecurity that's rife uh, all across the, the, the Kaduna State? Yeah, thank you for that wonderful question. Kaduna State in recent days now has been experiencing a lot of uh, attack, most especially in the southern part of Kaduna. Now, the, with, you can able to recall barely last week, over 121 uh, students were adopted. Even this evening, now, there was an attack in uh, Zengon Kataf, which we, we are yet to get a feedback from the police. And the nine people were killed and so on. So it is so disheartening this day that the attack is in one side part of the Kaduna. But according to the government, they are trying to put things in order to... When the government says they are trying to put things in order, what exactly do they mean? For a governor like El Rufai, who talks tough when it comes to issues of insecurity, um, is his actions and his words um, matching? Um, and how, how can the people of Kaduna State feel safe if even sacred places are no longer sacred? And... and, and can the people of Kaduna State um, take the governor by his word? Yeah, you, you know, as a leader, as he talks, but we we just have to hope and believe that uh, now the basic thing is to to wait and see what the government to, uh, will do, and they should have to double their effort in handling this insecurity, because nowhere is safe now at least. There are attacks carry on day by day in the different locations, as I earlier said, in the southern Kaduna. So I think the government needs to rise up and double its effort in handling this security. As some other experts have said, they need to engage the traditional rulers and the, the locals who know the terrain of the community so that they can able to build up a security team against this such attack. All right, well, thank you very much, Habila, for speaking with us. We're hoping to get more st um, reports coming uh, from your state as, uh, you know, the story develops. Thank you very much for speaking with us.
Okay, thank you very much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.